Hello, 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 my fellow Earthly Virgos. This is Nikki. Welcome to the Earthly Virgo channel. If you're new, thank you for supporting this channel. Okay. We're going to see what should you be expecting. Okay, Virgo, in your life, what should you be expecting? We're starting with the Empress. Hmm. Followed by the Ten of Swords. Okay. And we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. So, what should you be expecting? Maybe somebody's expecting a child, okay? This is something that you've been wanting for a long, long time. You've been stressed out about it, probably have had some difficult pregnancies in the past, and you, I want to be a mother. I want to raise a child. I don't care if you want to actually be pregnant or become a, um, a foster parent or something. This is something that's that's, that you're manifesting. If, if this is something that you're wanting, it can happen. Got the five of swords. You have probably failed in the past. Like I said, maybe had a miscarriage or maybe some false pregnancies or something, and you're just ready to, to become a mother, become a parent. Okay. What should Virgo be expecting here? And ten of I'm ten of empress. Ten, the empress can also mean that you are uh, powering yourself up. Okay. Uh, having some sort of abundance come into your life because you've been struggling so long and you're manifesting abundance. Okay. And you're tired of, of being left out in the cold. You're tired of doing stuff on your own. Spirit is telling you, you're not alone, Virgo. You are not alone, boo-boo. Okay. Virgo, what should you be expecting? Here we have the page of swords. We got the world. So there's going to be some sort of phone call or message or, or something that you read. It's going to be wild. It's going to be an opportunity, an opportunity for you to climb the ladder, Virgo. Okay. I mean, climbing the ladder to success. Okay. This is something that you should be, be deaf. I'm hearing be damn well grateful for. Okay. Because something good is happening to you. Virgo, what should you be expecting? Ooh, we got your love. Okay, Virgo, you are loved. There's some sort of connection coming your way. Spirit is trying to connect with you to help you heal some childhood wounds. Okay, and it's going to end. Okay, and we have who? Cool. So there's going to be somebody trying to contact you possibly to talk about some things that in your childhood. It's like you're going to connect with somebody. I'm hearing like a, a person of your own heart. You all will have you. You all will share so many things. It could be a friend. It could be a lover coming into your life. But you're going to connect with somebody on a spiritual level. It's like you are kind of like rising to the occasion. You're finally at this point to where you're ready to meet your highest potential Okay, in so many areas of your life. So whatever you're going through now, whatever has you worried here with this energy of this ten of swords, feeling like there's nobody there for you, feeling like there's nobody, you know, going to ever be there. You're going to always be alone. You're going to always be lonely. No. Spirit is telling you, boo-boo, you are not alone. Okay? You, that's something you got to believe. That's something you got to understand. You are not alone. You're never alone. It's, it's Spirit wants you to work on your belief system because Spirit is, is about to give you, is about to meet you where you are, but you haven't worked up your highest potential. It's there. Okay? What could Virgo, what should Virgo be expecting to come about in their life? Okay? People got some alcohol problems. Okay. You want some you want a cold drink, Virgo? Uh concentrate on your veggies. Somebody's probably drinking a little bit too much. I had some wine last night. I woke up this morning with a headache. <laughs> okay, Virgo. What should you be expecting? Woo! So I'm gonna get pissed off at somebody, possibly. Uh, drinking and, and saying some things you shouldn't say, but what they say, a drunk mind speaks the sober truth. We got the lovers out again. But we got lovers. Somebody is love bummed. So I kind of got a feeling this could be somebody who is coming into your life. They have an alcohol problem. They're a cold person, very, very angry, possibly narcissistic. The spirit is telling you no. Mm -mm. And this is possibly going to happen within a month or so. Okay. Let's kind of watch out for that. All right. What other things could Virgo be expecting to happen? Virgo, what are you expecting to happen? Or should I say, what should you expect to happen? 
We got isn't left. Something isn't left. And we got not. Question for go. Be expecting. We got maybe. Something in June. Okay, we're in June. What's coming up here for Virgo? In June, we got so. Something new coming up for you in June, okay? It's going to bring you tears. It's new. It's going to bring you tears, and it's not so far away, okay? Spirit is sending you something here in June, okay? And this is something about your dreams, okay? Think back to a dream you had or something that you've always wanted to do. It's not that far away. It's not. It isn't that far away. Spirit is telling you, I got this. And, and yeah, maybe. Clarify, maybe. We got love and we got, it's done. Don't worry about it. There's nothing left for you to do. No more worries. Spirit has already made his decision in this matter. So there's something coming up for you this month. I'm hearing it's not that far away for you. Uh, don't worry about things you can't change, Virgo, because you have that, that thing, that, that problem with worry. What should Virgo be expecting? That's too many. Virgo, what should you be expecting? Another chance. A, a, another chance. If you're thinking about giving somebody another chance, think about it a little bit more, Virgo. Why? Because that motherfucker is a damn lie. Okay? They are a lie. So you may not want to... This could be anybody. You know, one, you're thinking about giving this person another chance, let them be with you, move back in, whatever. Come back into your life at what capacity that, that you know about. They're going to tell you, I'm there to, to support you. Uh, believe in me. I love you. I care about you. You need to tell them you're done. Uh -uh, you're done with this. They're a liar. They want another chance, but they're not going to act right. you got to follow. And this, somebody's possibly following you. It could be online. It could be uh, physically or whatever, but like you have a stalker or something. This could be somebody from your past who you used to date. What should you be expecting? Ooh, somebody's nasty. Okay. And we got winter. Ooh, and where you are, you may have a really bad winter. Okay. I'm hearing El, Ni El Nino. Okay. Bad weather. Some of y'all may have a bad winter this year. We got April. And we got July. So April, I don't know how your April was, but it's something about July as well. And I'm hearing these could be names like April, whatever. I don't know if you ever heard of the person named July, but that message may resonate too. Okay. Truth. So you'll hear the truth. You probably heard the truth of nasty rumor or whatever, the nasty truth sometime in April or whatever, or in June, you're going to hear something. Something bothered you in April or, or it's going to happen for you in June. You're going to find out the truth in autumn as well. So something about we're going to have some nasty weather wherever you are in the winter and in autumn. Ask yourself a question. The answer is yes. Okay. Yeah, something is happening for you in two months. Okay, we're in June, maybe sometime in August. What's coming up for July? I'm coming. sorry for what's coming up for Virgo and two months. That would be July, August. We got so, dream, away, and not. Slow down, Virgo. Slow down. We got water. Drink more water. Uh, we have lovers as well. And never again. Somebody may be trying to come back to you from the past, but you say never again. Your mother already told you, leave this person alone. But this person wants to come back in your life for another offer. And you want to tell this, this person, okay, but your mother told you no to leave this person alone. Okay, two months from now, it's going to be summer. And that it's going to try, to try to keep back up in your life. Okay. And look, somebody's pregnant. Or this could be spirit is telling you, like we said in the beginning of the reading, you're going to be pregnant. Okay, sometime in the near future. Okay. And I have some. So I don't know who this message resonates with. Somebody may be pregnant soon. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple of more. And then I'm going to end this reading. Let me know if this message resonates. We have addiction. And we have a lot. Somebody lost somebody who was who had an addiction. And maybe sometime in January. It could have been their birthday. Or it could have been the month that they passed away from some sort of addiction. Okay. 
Uh, we have here, they're on the other side now, but they're healed. They're letting you know now that I'm healed. Okay. We have February, we have felon, too far out, and young. So we have a person who is young. They probably went to jail. They're now a felon. Um, and it's not too far out, but this person will possibly be getting released in February of next year. Okay. Or well, that's the month they went to jail. Messages from Virgo. What do they need to expect? Family. Okay. What is family saying here to you, Virgo? Family, money, and court. Family court? Could that mean something coming up like a child support or something? Winning a, winning a, a child support case? Ooh, somebody got a stalker. I told you. Stalker alert. Excuse me. Stalker alert. Virgo, Virgo has a stalker. And they feel the bond with you and probably never even talk to you. And two, this could mean a bond. You know, maybe somebody has to go to court for a juvenile case and they need to, to bond, have bond money or something. And this person was probably stalking somebody they shouldn't have been stalking. Okay. Probably like a restraining order. Okay, girl, that can wait. Final message for Virgos, please. What do you what do you need to expect? Don't do it. If you're thinking about doing something in June, don't do it, Virgo. Wait on. Hold, hold your mule. Okay. What should Virgo be expecting? We have here. We got two months. Wait, wait a couple of months. If you want to think about doing something right now, don't. Just wait a couple of months. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. Not right now, Virgo. And we have here support. You're gonna have some some support within two months. Not right now. And somebody's using you. If you feel used, Virgo, nine times out of times out of ten, you probably are. Okay. Or this is also saying that if, if you're thinking about purchasing something like a car, a used car, wait a minute. Hold on. Not right now. Give it a couple of months. And you're this lucky. Luck, you're, you sh, there's some lucky things going to start happening to you, Virgo. It's like you're going to be feeling very, very lucky with some things coming your way. Okay. And we have here somebody ghosted you. If they ghosted you, Virgo, fuck them. Okay. If they try to contact you, don't. Okay. We have this contact card. I told you to wait. I have this Virgo card. I'm sorry, this contact card in reverse. Do nothing. Don't even worry about it. If they ghosted you, let them go. Don't even trip. All right, so I'm going to end this because I'm going to strangle my daughter. Talk to y'all later.